Hello friends, this is Shivani here. Welcome to my channel Shivani Creations. Today I am showing you how to create this beautiful wall hanging shaker with the photograph frame and these beautiful quilling decoration ideas. Isn't it very pretty? And you can just add any photograph from the back side so this is a photo frame come shaker card come wall hanging all in one and if you don't want it you can just keep it as it is so let's get started for this we need some multicolor 3mm strips double sided tacky tape thread and needle some pearls some sequences scissor quilling tool, liquid glue, pink color paper, pattern paper, mount board or cardboard, acetate sheet to create shaker and rounder. First I am taking this mount board piece and I am just measuring 7 cm radius on my rounder and creating one circle. Then using the same radius, I am dividing this circle in 6 equal parts. Then I am taking 4.5 cm radius, making one more circle using the same center. Now I am just marking in the center line by aligning with the outer circle now using this marking I am making 6 more partition on this inner circle using the 4.5 cm radius then using the marker I am joining all the markings and creating the big and small hexagon like this now we need to cut both the hexagons so that we will get a hexagon ring like this and inner hexagon I will cut using paper cutter and outer hexagon I will cut using scissors so after cutting the hexagon ring it will look like this now I am just taking one pink color paper and wrapping around this ring
now on the top of this I am adding one more pink color hexagon ring of the same size. So the base is ready. Now I have attached this double sided tacky tape on the inner edge of the hexagon and I am just removing the liners. Now I am adding this acetate sheet which is also known as OHP sheet on top of this tacky tape. If you don't have tacky tape you can also use any kind of strong adhesive. So this is connected. Now to create shaker we need some dimensions. For the dimensions I am adding some strips of mount board pieces. So to connect those strips, I am again attaching this red tacky tape all around the inner hexagon shape. Remove all the liners. And then I will start adding these mount board strips like this. I need little more depth. So I am adding the second layer of mount board strips. And we need to cover all the corners so that when we will add our small sequences it will not come out when we will create a shaker. Now I will start pouring some pink and red color small size sequences. These are from iCraft designs and after that I will add some micro bead pearls of golden and white color. These micro bead pearls are from Dress My Craft. Now I am attaching one more piece of acetate sheet on top of this. I have already connected the double sided tacky tape on this acetate sheet and removed the liners. So this is connected and our shaker window is ready. Isn't it pretty? And this is a transparent shaker window. So in this way you can create your transparent shaker card as well. Now I am just covering this back portion with one pattern paper hexagon shape just for the finishing touch. So this is done. Now 
since I am creating here a frame so I am adding one more layer of mount board strips on the outer edge of hexagon only on these four sides I am not adding strips on top two sides because from top we will slide our photograph like this now I'm taking this pattern paper on which I have added this love sentiment and just add glue on these mount board strips and connect this back side hexagon paper so this is done and now you can just slide your photograph from top like this and when you don't need the photograph you can just remove it like this now we'll decorate it for the decoration I'm creating some basic shapes of quilling for the first shape I'm taking one six strip of orange color we need total 72 these type of coils now I'm taking one fourth strip of yellow color and making total 90 coils then I'm taking half strip of pink color and one strip of peach color and making one leaf shape so we need total six these type of coils and now I'm taking half strip of white half strip of light pink and half strip of dark pink and making one teardrop shape So we need total 24 coils. Now take back your frame. I'm just removing my photograph slider and I'm starting with the inner edge. Here I have added this pink color strip just for the finishing of my hexagon frame and just kept this side as it is. Now I will start with adding these small orange color tight coils. Then I'm adding four teardrops. Then here I'm adding this leaf. And then for the outer edge, I'm adding these yellow color tight coils. same way repeat for all the sides so after adding all the sides it will look like this isn't it looking very pretty now I'm starting with some quilling flowers my favorite one for the first flower I'm taking half strip of light blue and half strip of dark blue and making one semicircle in the same way I have created one more semicircle so connect both with each other and uh, wrap this petal using dark blue strip
so we need total 7 petals I am combining all together to construct the flower and for the center I am taking the tight coil which is made using half strip of light yellow half strip of medium yellow and one strip of pink color so just connect the circle and your flower is ready in the same way I have created one more flower for this center I have used one strip of light pink half strip of dark pink and half strip of white here I have added the tight curl on both the sides because this will come in the down for the hanging now starting with the next flower for this I am taking half strip of light pink one fourth strip of dark pink and half strip of white making one teardrop shape I will join total seven petals together and making a flower Now for the center of the flower I have created this blue color tight coil which is made using one strip of light blue and one strip of dark blue. In the same way I am adding one more tight coil on the back because this flower will come in the hanging in the same way I have created one more hanging flower. Now for the next flower I am taking half strip of light sea blue color, one fourth strip of dark sea blue color and half strip of white and making one teardrop shape join all five petals together and add half cut pearl in the center So flowers are ready now for the leaf I am taking half strip of sap green and one fourth strip of dark sap green and making one leaf shape join three petals together and your leaf is ready so we need total four leaves also I have created some scrolls using the same color combinations if you want to learn scroll check my scrolls video now take back your hexagon shape from back side of this on one right corner I have attached this thread using glue and I am just covering this thread part using a star punch so that it will make our thread more secure and it will also look good now I will start adding total 30 poles in one side here I am using these peach color plastic pearls you can use any kind of beads or pearls so the first row is ready now I'm just taking my pink flower and I have inserted one jump ring through one petal and now I will just insert my needle through this jump ring and I will create some three four knots and then you can just cut the excess thread So the hanging is ready in the same way I will connect the big hanging using blue flower and one more pink hanging like this 
so after adding all three hangings it will look like this now I will start adding my quilling flowers for the decoration Also I am adding this die cut out butterfly in the center part of my hanging just to decorate it. If you don't have die cuts you can also use punches. So this is done now from the back side for the hanging I am adding one piece of ribbon. So the beautiful hanging is ready and if you want to add any photograph inside this just slide a photograph from back side like this and you can just decorate your walls using this beautiful hanging or you can keep it as it is so my project is done for today hope you enjoyed my video please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos please click on bell icon for the latest updates thanks for watching see you next time Bye-bye.